really make progress. Officials and players are on their way. One love on the head-to-head -head to the uh, Chinese pair. Red. Wang receives. Wang receives. Inside. That's it. Who receives? Yeah. Okay. Works when Ranky Reddy and Shetty uh, are on court. So there's uh, Yang Wei King. They ranked uh, 10 in the world now. That seven ranking was just a couple of months ago. And they won their first tour title last year. That was the uh, Japan Open. His partner is uh, Wang Chang. Tie foot 11, he's 21 years of age. Actually, that one meeting that you saw on the head to head was two months ago. It was in the semi final of the Malaysia Open, where the Chinese prevailed in three games. And they've already won the Indian Open this year. I think the Malaysians so and cheer in the final. And didn't have any problems with John Po and Kedrin in the first round inside half an hour. And their opponents on the other side of the net, there's Ranky Reddy. They ranked six in the world, they have been as high as five, that was the back end of last year. First ever Indian men's doubles pair to be ranked inside the world's top ten. And they got a world championship bronze last year, a Commonwealth Games gold here in Birmingham. And his partner, Shirak Shetty. Four world tour events they've won between them including the Indoor Open, which is a Super 500, and the French Open, a Super 750. Playing together for some uh, seven years, the two Indians. And, of course, they're a big part of the Thomas Cup winning team last year in Bangkok. Straight games also for this pair against fellow countrymen Garaga and Penjala. Not much to choose between them, Chris. I, I, I think it's quite a tough one to call. Yeah, this this is going to, well, it should be a very exciting game because I'd say two very even pairs. And looking at it, I'd say they're both quite young and these two could be, you know, the kind of pairs that are two of the very best pairs in the world for the next four or five years. Um, this, this has the prospect to be a really exciting match.
Well, I'm glad we sorted that out. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Satawik Saraj, Red Red, and Chirak said India. So here we go for what should be an explosive doubles encounter. Shatty to sir. Not the most auspicious start. Say the two Chinese boys are probably the most um, improved pair. That's the right way to phrase it. Over the last 12 months, they've, you know, they weren't playing together, and they're now one of the best pairs in the world. I'd say they're still a little bit up and down because they're both young, um, but they have so much potential to be, well, to be possibly the best pair in the world. They're not far off. Saw it earlier in the year when they took a title. Inside the back line. Three, two. Shetty there, especially the backhand when he opened up the Chinese, that one. And then it allows him to, yeah, because he opened them up, it gives gives him the, the opportunity to then counter them. Big smash there from Liang, he does hit it hard. As I said earlier on in the day, it's definitely quick in here today, so it's so important to be getting this. I mean, it's a short lift, but to be getting the attack. You've got two players on the court that hit it incredibly hard. Oh, brilliant from Shetty. It's almost anything you can do, one could do better, or at least as well. That was travelling off his racket. Cagey start as well here. We haven't really seen a rally yet. We haven't seen anyone open the court up, move the shuttle around. Well, with the power out there, I'm not convinced we're going to see it. <laughs> Might be wrong. short rallies but I mean it's what you'd expect Seven, with men, men's doubles four. but I'd also say everyone's a little bit tense out there until you get that first long rally or actual rally everyone's just a bit edgy bit cagey I'm 
I mean, we've seen, I think, in the first part of this game, we've seen one total airing of the shuttle, and then we've seen two. Like, this is a pretty bad miss hit here, and we saw one, I mean, and we saw exactly the same in the rally before. I think the Chinese are maybe a little bit more nervous than normal. Well, they'd have taken this start, the Indians, that's for absolute certain. I did, I did watch the Chinese play last week uh, in the German Open. I was surprised at how flat they were, and they got beat fairly comfortably by uh, Wang Chi Lin, but Wang Chi Lin didn't play with his, his normal partner. He played with Kang Ko Chi, but it was two very comfortable sets. Over. He's an imposing presence at the back of the court, to say the least, isn't he, Wang Kiling? This is the thing with Ranky, I mean, he hits it so hard. Um, and when he does, there's no way you can control it, as in you can't block that. There's no one in the world that could block that. So you can only uh, react with pace back. And this is where normally Shetty's so good at cutting out. Obviously, that was a long way out, so Shetty didn't have to get involved. But the Indians are so well suited. Again, we saw the big smash, and the Chinese are just reacting because there's so much power. And I'd say it is quite one-sided as the score suggests at the uh, at the interval so the Indians in control at the moment just six minutes of play for that 11-5 advantage We're just playing this 60 percent back 50 percent back and then sit with it. They, they can come with more than this but if they come with more it's still in our racket mm -hmm. so we just need to be a little quick on So let's see if they can continue this uh, relentless momentum. Shetty and Ranky ready. Very impressive there from uh, from Shetty. I would say, if I'm honest, though, the Chinese have had quite a poor start overall. But I mean, this is brilliant from Shetty. This is Shetty showing his dominance as one of the very best net players in the world. Yeah, and when you've got Shetty at the net and Ranky ready, there's power at the back of the court. That's a, a pretty potent combination. Yeah, they were made to play together. They were kind of made for each other. It's often the way you base your game around your partner. You get better at the areas your partner maybe isn't as comfortable with or... Again, for me, that's an easy mistake by the Chinese. I just really feel at the moment the Chinese have not settled. They do not feel comfortable and they're no nowhere near playing to their level. Just long. Chinese pair so far, unusual for yes. them. So many unforced errors. They look, they look hesitant. They look unsure. They don't look confident. Another air shot. Over eight, it's strange. As I said last week, when I watched them play, it just. They look really flat. They didn't look like the pair that I'd seen previously uh, earlier in the year where I was, you know, very, very, very impressed with them. 
Um, with someone in the crowd with their phone on again. It's amazing how often we see this. It's so distracting for the players. Yeah, you'd think people could live without their mobile for a few hours watching the badminton. Or at least turn that flash off. Yeah. idea yeah I think there's nothing wrong with doing that when you've got a, a reasonable lead to be trying a few different things Frankie Reddy did incredibly well then to react to that drive serve he's even got a little smile on his face saying you can't do that to me struggled so far in this game as a upward hard return and it's gonna get punished and it did Shetty there showing his dominance showing why he is one of the very best net players in the world if not the best net player in the world when he catches one, when he cuts one out, you're in serious trouble. Too good and too quick, and here are 10 game points. I think it might be our fault, bigging the game up to be such a great game, <laughs> and it's been an absolute destruction derby. I mean, 12 minutes, we, I would never have anticipated this. The Indians have been far superior so far. And they win it 21-10. As you said, in double quick time, hugely impressive from these two. surprised that we're not getting it easy. We are ready with the rackets, we're quick on all three. Huh? Default, we try and catch something on three. With, with receiving, we can go a little bit in front of them or have distance partner ready. If we play with pace, I'm okay with that. Oh. You Good one, 
seconds but one twenty seconds. Say the big thing about that first game, uh, Matthias Bo summed it up pretty well in regards to saying thank you very much for that first set, China, because it's not that they gave it to them, but the performance they put in was poor, and it was very comfortable for the Indians, but the Indians now have to be ready for something different because the Chinese have to change things up. But the big difficulty is going to be, can the Chinese be consistent with their lifting? Because they've got to get good length, otherwise Ranky Reddy's going to hit some massive smashes. That was great agility from Shetty. And very good judgment, too. And the other issue that uh, the Chinese are going to have is they're now playing against two really fired-up players. That was out. Well, they're going to challenge it. I'm not sure they're going to get any joy. No, I do think it was out, but sometimes you challenge and hope. Yeah, I just wonder, like, so early in the game. Just I hope that it doesn't come back to haunt you. I think sometimes you see what you want to see, and yeah, I mean, we saw it as out, I think everyone did, but sometimes when you hit that smash, there's something inside you that hopes it's in, so then you see it as in, even when it's not. Much better from Wang at the net there, and that's where he's dangerous. We haven't seen that at all so far in this match. That was in, I think. It was. Great touch there from Ranky Reddy. They just look the busier pair, don't they? Apart from anything else. But that's the thing, they're both chasing forward because they know the Chinese aren't going to open them up. The Chinese are not just going to play the big court, they're not just going to lift. So both Indian players are trying to get forward. That's a good idea. Just needs, for me, it's got to go a little bit wider just so it's a further distance. If it does that, then it's not going to go out. It's a bit more in the centre, that flick. Well, kind of good fortune. But uh, no question that luck has nothing to do with the overall match position here so far. It's a brilliant return, but for me, the Chinese have got to vary the serves a little bit more. So I feel the Indians are being dominant with the returns and in the first four shots of the rally. Totally the wrong shot there from uh, from Ranky Reddy, but Shetty again intercepts the shot, and the Indians are in an okay position. That's just a poor shot. It's the wrong shot and also a loose shot. It's a lot of chop on that serve, a lot of spin, and that's why I think uh, Shetty's return's gone in an upward direction. Liang does have a very good tumble serve or spin serve. You see how much that shot was moving. Over. Five. Oh. To make a mistake like that, it just shows how uncomfortable he's feeling, because that's that's an easy mistake. Well, early signs here is that the Chinese are more competitive in this uh, 
second game, although to be fair, that wouldn't be hard. Yeah, but just more aggressive. There's there's more oomph, as it were. In the first set, they just look so flat. They almost look deflated and defeated at the midway point. Chinese are controlling the drift very well. Good return, full commitment on that return as well. Seven, I think over. He's got to be a little Seven, bit careful with that return eight. as well. It was going up with power. He did incredibly well to get the next shot, but he's... Look at this. He's coming down at him. He's done well to get that. But he's got to be careful. He's got to try and get his returns going in a downward trajectory or, or some width to put the Chinese in a bit of trouble. different uh, Chinese pair to the Chinese pair that I watched earlier in the year in the Asia tour it's, it's yeah it's very very different interesting how often the Indian pair have tried the flick serve and again that was a big hit and this is why the Indians can't do the higher lift to the Chinese it's the same for both you've got Ranky ready with one of the biggest hits in the world, and Liang there just showed he has a massive smash. Is the lift short fraction, but that is massive. Um, but yeah, the flick serve I think is very effective because I think both the Chinese are trying to put a lot of pressure on the return because in the first game, the dominance for, uh, on the return of serve was India was so much better in the first four shots of the rally. Whereas I'd say this, this game, it's probably been the Chinese. It's the wrong shot from Ranky Reddy. But I do think it stemmed from the first probably three shots of the rally. The Indians always in a little bit of trouble having to hit upwards. But the Chinese now so much more energy, more confidence, more belief. Look at the energy now they're giving. It's a totally different vibe, a different message that they're putting across to uh, the Indian pair. It's amazing how quickly things can change. So, now it's the Chinese who have the advantage uh, at the midway point. 11-8, they lead.
we now have a game on our hands. And this is one of the other things uh, when I expressed earlier about the Chinese, for me, just being a little bit inconsistent. And, I, you know, it's two different pairs. From the first game to now, how they're playing, the body language is everything. It's the energy, it's the belief, it's totally different. Whereas you look at some more experienced pairs like Ashan Setiwan, it's the same all the time. If they're playing well or they're not playing well, they look like the same pair. Um, and now the Chinese, this is totally different from even the start of this game, let alone the start of the match. Said it so many times how quickly the momentum can change in badminton. That was an incredibly aggressive return. Shetty there. I mean, he's on that. Themselves right back in the picture here, Ranky Reddy and Shetty. And they all came from, from Shetty for me. Look at that block, and then the speed he goes in at, and then the shot from it's all wrong from Liang, and then he's, he's in so much trouble. It's it's the speed at which Shetty moved in caused the panic for the Chinese, and then the shot he's played is all the wrong shot. It's a really short lift there from Shetty. We've got a really exciting game on our hands now. This is what we anticipated from the start, which didn't quite happen in the first game. It when your confidence grows, Liang there, uh, sorry, Wang there, apologies. He's made the move, look at that, and he's covered it. I think in the first game, he wasn't really making moves, he wasn't looking active, he wasn't looking confident at the net. The net player has to make a move. mistake from the back. Wang is not the rear court player, but he's just got to almost maybe clip that, get forward, just look to get into the net because we've seen how hard Liang hits it. Maybe a little bit of mind games here. For the Chinese, he's done his job there. Uh, Wang just blocking, getting forward. Liang is hitting it so hard. Look at this, just a block, simple block, gets the high lift. And that's massive. Perfectly placed as well. Looking good now in this game to uh, level the match, the Chinese. Yeah, and that, that's Shetty's just hit that too hard because it's still rising here. It's still rising, you can see. And then um, Wang can step in and cause the trouble. And then the, it's impossible for the Indians. 
for me in that situation, Shetty has to fade the shuttle. He has to make it dip so that when Wang's taking it, Wang's hitting up because then Ranky Reddy can come off and make the interception. But if it's rising as it was, then uh, Ranky Reddy is out of the game. What a transformation from the first game. for that is because, I don't know if we're going to get to see it, but the, the spin that Liang can put on the serve, he can chop the serve unbelievably. And as I think Shetty was striking that, the shuttle was spinning sideways. And that's why he's, he's hit it out into the, into the deep blue ocean. That's out as well. And it's uh, going to be one all momentarily, isn't it? They've come out a completely different proposition this second game, Liang and Wang. The spin he can put on his serve, it is quite incredible. I'd love to see his serve in a bit of a slow motion to see just how much spin he puts on it. We need a, a revs per minute count. <laughs> yeah. So here are six game points then for the Chinese to level up here. It's been two very quick games so far. I know this isn't quite over yet, but it's 31 minutes, which is incredibly quick. mistake there from uh, from Wang. Put it long, did he, or did he make it? Put it long. Yeah, it's long. It was hard to see it was that quick, but a bit of tension now at the end of this from the Chinese. So Ranky Reddy and Shetty keeping the Chinese pair honest here. Oh, yes. It's a long, long way out that was in the end. So they're going to challenge this. It's all happening here. Excitement's just building. So 21-17, the uh, challenge doesn't work for the Indians, and we are going to get a decider here. <laughs> We are just a little bit too passive on the feet. Yeah? We, we, they catch something and then they get their third shot under and then we're too slow. We're stepping into it instead of quickly step in and lift it or step in and then ready. Mm -hmm. So nothing new under the sun. We need to react a little bit quicker on the feet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So not frustrated. We know that this is no rhythm game and it's fine. Yeah? We just need to put it together three, four points in a row eventually. Us yeah? then 100% ready when we receive. We seem a little passive mentally when we receive. Okay. Yeah. We need to step it up. Yeah. We need to step it up. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Boom. Fine here in the defense. Fine. Let them work once in a while in the defense. Huh? We cannot just play it from low position. If we're low, we lift high and then we're ready in the defense. 
you fall, you catch something in between, it brings up on two and four. So here we go then for the decider. And we think probably the Chinese pair would have the momentum after winning that second game, but in the second guess, it's hard to tell. I can see Matthias Bo in the uh, coaching chair. He's getting very animated. He's, he's forcing his players to be ready and be active and not worry about the rear of the court because no one's going to play the big court style because at the moment no one's defending that well and it's quick out there. It's all about the mid court forwards. Well, he was right, wasn't he? And what he said uh, after the first game to his players, he said that was just. A bit of a gift, now the match is really going to start, and it did. It's so strange, the more time that they give Wang on the shuttle, the worse he is. When he has no time and no decision-making to make, he's been so good, and I, but I've seen him, I think, I know it wasn't an air, but it's a, it's an extreme miss hit. Um, almost maybe too many shots are going through his head. And when you're slightly nervous, when you're slightly edgy, that happens. You don't, you're not calm enough to just think of one thing, you're thinking of two or three things. impressive but it's they're hitting the Indians there are hitting directly to the Chinese they're hitting to their rackets they've got for me they've got to take a little bit of the speed of the shuttle off so that the Chinese like there that's a poor shot that's rising as well for me uh, Ranky Reddy's got to step in and he's got to almost fade it or block it so that it's coming up that's nicely steered down the line by uh, Ranky Reddy Yeah, that's a great shot there from Ranky Reddy. Brilliant placement, brilliant control. Yeah, but that's it there from Shetty. That's a massive difference because when Shetty's striking that drive, he's stepping in. If you're stepping into the shuttle, you're hitting downwards because you're taking the shuttle. It's still rising there. Look at that. That's a massive difference because the arc of the shuttle, the shuttle's still going up when Chetty's stepping in. And then he puts the Chinese under so much pressure because he's hitting a downward drive. say what an incredible lift that was off the return from uh, Ranky Reddy but Liang there stepped in so well and took that so early hey look how early he's played that so tight and it's Ranky Reddy's shot is just a bit too upwards yeah, and Shetty's nowhere near that I think he's even crushed the shuttle there fortunately we got a few spares <laughs> nerves just edginess as I said earlier in the match Shetty is one of the best net players in the world and he'd make that shot that's his bread and butter but just a little bit edgy and when you snatch at the net you can make these mistakes brilliant there from Ranky Reddy brilliant did it incredibly well to get the drive serve and then just calm calm and composed there just to push it down
but for me that's much better from the Indian boys because they're pushing, they're fading the shuttle down. The Chinese there were in trouble because they're striking the shuttle below the tape. You see here, about, and now he's in that one. He's taking it lower than the tape, so he's in trouble. Shetty there to Ranky Reddy. There was going out because yeah, it was. I mean, it's a long way out, but it was a great call. Reddy's got to move it away. Uh, Wang's a, he's a very good net player. You've got to go over him or you've got to go away from him. You're trying to go back through him when he's on balance here. And it's just going up until the inevitable happens and Wang manages to put the shuttle away. Great player, but last two rallies are really edgy, really nervy rallies. Yeah, and Ranky Reddy all over him at the moment. Turn. Now we're going to see this tumble serve, a spin serve, whatever you want to call it. For anyone that maybe hasn't watched that much badminton, the signals behind the backer to let the partner know the serve and the movement they're going to make so that it's well organized. It's good from the Chinese there. I do feel when um, Liang's serving, the Indians definitely are struggling more with their returns. That's not a great return there from uh, Ranky Reddy. And it's because the shuttle is tumbling, it's spinning, it's turning as they're striking their return. on a replay when Shetty's about to strike the shuttle I think he's striking the feathers because the amount of spin that Liang is putting on the serve you can see it bobbling so much and that is a real skill to be able to do that on the serve hit with real venom and they've got a three-point advantage at the mid-game interval they'll change ends and then we'll find out in probably in about 10 minutes who's going to be in that quarter-final 11-8 Ranky Reddy and Shetty with the advantage 
need to step into the shot. Good. Not a lot. We're not stepping into it and running blindly forward. We're stepping into it and ready again. Yeah, this one anything, much. just forward with the racket and step into it. Then there's plenty of room. And I'm okay with us pushing, but then we're ready to work on the next one. We cannot expect to make more. Seems like a, a critical point. It's almost like they're taking turns, blow for blow. A heavyweight boxing contest here. One minute, one minute's Ranky ready hammering it down or Shetty, and then you see Liang and Wang take over for a point. It's the Chinese trying to, you can't go through the middle, you can't go through Shetty. And it's so hard because they're trying to, they're trying to move the shuttle around, but uh, Ranky ready's hitting it too hard. And when they try and cross it, it just goes straight to Shetty's racket. Slightly fortunate neck cord there. stem from if we go back to the first three shots of the rally the Indians are really struggling with this tumble serve because it's a poor return it's going up they do well there and they almost get dominance over the rally and then make a comfortable mistake the tension in this match Just get the feeling, don't you, that they've kind of grabbed back the initiative here, the Yang and Wang. For me, it's all about you've got to step in here. You've got to step in and you've got to play the, the first shot going in a downward trajectory and you want to take a bit of the pace off. And that's what Wang does and then the Indians are hitting with pace in an upward trajectory and it's causing them problems. It's too big a swing there from Liang. Liang's got to just brush it. He's trying to kill it. You can't kill that. It's too tight the swing on that he's got to keep his body weight going forward and just almost hit it very softly to try and brush it I mean, it's a good serve, that interception's phenomenal. And then it's an easy kill. 
But uh, we've seen so many different versions of Wang. There was a point five minutes ago where he almost missed the shuttle totally, and then he goes to a phenomenal version of himself. And this is what I said before the match started. I think the Chinese boys, they're, they're a bit too up and down at the moment. When they find their top level on a consistent basis, they are going to be very, very, very good. shot before was going out as well but didn't matter in the end this is a really exciting game i mean it's point for point the momentum's changing this is a really exciting men's doubles and who'd have thought we'd be locked together like this in the third game after the one-sided nature of the opening game This is it, there. this is the thing, this is what nerves does, this is what tension does. Shetty hasn't moved his feet at all, he's just reached. He gets, look, he's just there, he's, and he's got to take just a small movement forward, exactly what Matthias Bo said, you've got to go towards the shuttle, because it, if you don't, you're snatching. fortunate there because that return from Shetty again was in an upward to, upward uh, direction or trajectory and it's again that tumble serve he's really look at that he's got a bit fortunate there the barrage of jump splashes there's still room for a little bit of subtlety that was really cleverly angled Rachel then a great move forward he's active he's proactive he's hunting the net he knows that no one wants to lift so he's trying to get forward the key is moving forward mid-court forwards and again no one's worrying about the rear of the court, neither Chinese players, because the shuttle's not going to go there. I mean, a game like this, if, if this doesn't make you want to play Bamman and watching this, then I don't think anything will. I mean, I want to go and have a hit straight after this match. hard as that he could have just blocked it I feel because no one wants to lift here look how early it is if he just blocks it there's a straight gap there he doesn't have to push it that hard it's much easier for me to say because the gaps seem much bigger from up here down there everything seems so so small the gaps and so stressful and complicated Third, rather. Now, advantage China. It's just point for point. It's a good shot there from uh, from Shetty. Good pace that he put on it. the lift because you've got two big big hitters out there and everyone's tense when you're tense your defense isn't as good this is such a big point now yeah the Indian pair really have to win it if they're gonna have a chance to field 
just look at the body language. Just seems they look a little bit deflated. Rankin, and Shetty. The amount of momentum swifts, uh, changes sorry, that we've had in this game is unbelievable. Oh, that is an easy mistake. That, that was a get out of jail free card for the Indians. It really was. Yeah, I feel like that was a big gift. He didn't need to even kill it. He could have just stopped it off. All he wants to think about is getting the high lift for his partner. And this is tension. This is nerves. And this is what it does. <laughs> you just can't predict this, can you? Look like the impetus is with the Chinese pair. Now it's a toss-up again. And this is the thing we just said. Not that rally, but the rally before. The Chinese... <laughs> Wang's made all the wrong shot. In the, not, that, not the rally just then, but the rally before, and it should be such a different end to the game. But now he's even more tense because he's had two poor rallies. But in his defence there, incredible. Hard poke, looked off the net, hasn't got to worry about the lift because no one's going to lift. If you hit hard, look off the net because pace is going to follow in a tense situation. No one's going to have the ability and the calmness to block it. Now, this is the tumble serve I've spoken about a lot here. And this is where Shetty struggled to return off this serve. One match point then, chance for Liang and Wang to book a quarter-final place. Defiance from the Indians, but not enough in the end. And the Chinese, having been dominated in the first game, take the next two to book a quarter-final spot. Massive entertainment for the crowd here. You can hear what they think about it. Terrific, especially that third game, Chris. Yeah, that, I'm going to be honest, that was so exciting. I'm actually sweating and I'm only commentating. So, you know, it, that was an honour to commentate on. It was a very, very, very exciting game and the crowd has absolutely loved it. Well, I think we should probably give their coach some credit as well, getting them to regroup after they were distinctly second best in the opening game. There's some wonderful defence from the two Indians early in that final rally, but the Chinese would not be denied. And that was the moment they knew they were in the quarters. Big, big win. I think they have a genuine chance to lift this title. So, just confirming the final score. 10-21, 21-17, 21-19. Just under an hour on court, an hour of tremendous entertainment. And talking of entertainment, there's bound to be a lot more throughout the afternoon and evening. Five more matches live, and they'll be in the company of Jill Clark and Steve Pedersen. Don't go away.
So welcome back to the Utilita Arena here in Birmingham um, for second round action here at the Onyx All England Championships. Well, after that thrilling men's doubles, we turn our attention to singles and it's the defending champion, the two-time winner, Victor Axelsson, who also happens to be the reigning world and Olympic champion, up against the Malaysian Eng Si Yong. Well, of course, with Victor Axelsson being the number one seed, this has to be the top 